World War I killed more people, 9 million combatants and 5 million civilians, and cost more money, $186 billion in direct costs and another $151 billion in indirect costs than any previous war in history. Triggered by the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the throne of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, World War I began in August 1914 when Germany invaded Belgium and France. An interlocking series of treaties pulled nearly the whole of Europe into the conflict. Although most Americans initially wanted to stay out of the war altogether, several events eventually led to U.S. intervention in the war. American economic ties to the Allies, the German sinking of the Lusitania, a British passenger liner with Americans on board, the German insistence on pursuing a policy of unrestricted submarine warfare, and the Zimmerman telegram which revealed a German plot to provoke Mexico into war against the United States. The United States declared war against Germany in April 1917. Millions of American men were drafted, and Congress created a War Industries Board to coordinate military and industrial production, and a National War Labor Board to unify labor policy. Congress also created the Committee on Public Information, also known as the CPI, to influence U.S. public opinion about the war. Over one million U.S. troops served in Europe with the American Expeditionary Force, or AEF. They served alongside their British and French allies to save Paris from a final German offensive in the spring of 1918 and helped push the German army out of France. Germany agreed to stop fighting in November 1918. The Treaty of Versailles, which ended the war, deprived Germany of valuable territory and forced it to pay billions of dollars in reparations. President Wilson agreed to the treaty because it provided for the establishment of a League of Nations which he believed could prevent future wars, but he was unable to persuade the American Senate to ratify the treaty.